Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Tar Heels have not only put together a nice winning streak, they're starting to play at a much higher level, and they've energized their entire campus. Now the question is, will they be able to handle everybody on campus patting them on the back, telling them how good they are, and telling them how they expect a big win in this one? That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. Syracuse lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. He's out to the 30, and he's tackled at the 37. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Taken down around the 41 yard line. That's good for a gain of four yards. That brings him second and five. Brought down around the 42 yard line. It and he's looking for more. Tackle made right around the 42-yard line. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Here's the case of the quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. From the 42-yard line. Second down. Feeling the pressure and he fumbles the football. They fall on it. Wow, very close to turning it over, but they'll keep possession of the football. Way to play heads up out there. That's just one more reason to play to the whistle. long here and they hope to convert another one and keep this drive going they come out in an empty backfield he's gonna air it long spectacular play and now it's first and goal that makes it first and goal empty backfield quarterback in the gun five wide receivers it out and it falls incomplete this is the eighth play of this drive puts it right in his hands touchdown attack is capable of making some big plays. They've got to get on their toes. Yeah. 
Well, they're taking a look at this play upstairs, but I think they're going to have a hard time overturning this one. This is a big review right here. Was it an incompletion or a touchdown? To review, to review the, the play, play, the ruling, the ruling on, the on the field, field stands. stands. The ruling on the field will stand. He caught it. The only thing left to say about this play is that was an excellent catch. He makes the PAT. An eight-play, 65-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Reed from the eight, and he just got drilled. You know, Herbie, for an offensive coordinator, he's got to love this kid. Fuller's decision-making abilities make him very effective against any defense he's ever played with. Well, defenses have to put pressure on him and not let him get comfortable. If you allow him to scan the field, he'll simply pick you apart. If you can disrupt his rhythm, it'll give you a chance to at least shutting him down. He's tackled at about the 35. Gets the ball. He's at midfield. And he's level at the 45. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. Joseph intended to see the other way. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 45. Ready. Runs it, and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. That makes it third and 15. Receiver and it falls incomplete. Well, that was clearly a poor read on somebody's part. And the bad news is there was no defender around. If the pass was anywhere near him, it could have gone for a big play. Hearn, the return man. It's away. Short punt. And as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack a defense. And right now, these wide receivers <laughs> have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the mark. North Carolina is up a score. some room he's taken down around the 50 yard line that's a game of 17 that makes it first and 10 they'll knock him down for a loss Second down now, 13 to go. Ball on the 47. Makes it to the 37. That's good for a game of 16 yards. First down. Fires out to his wide out. They'll bring him down right around the 44-yard line. That'll make it second and long. Second and long. Ball on the 44-yard line.
Here's the halfback on the screen. Knocked out of bounds at the 33. Call it a gain of 11 yards. That'll bring up 36. at the 21. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. North Carolina up seven points. And they make the stop at the 12. McNamara brings him down at the 12-yard line. That makes it 72. Big play, and it's first and goal. That makes it first and goal. It's first down. Knocking on the door here. It's first and goal inside the five. He's got the corner. Touchdown, Tar Heels. Converts the extra point. Thompson has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Gathered in at the six. He makes it to the 28-yard line. They need to show a little giddy up now because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. Tackled after a decent pickup. So at the end of one quarter, the Tar Heels lead 14-0. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Four down, four down. Mike nine, Mike nine. Let's go. Green 95. Green 95. He's pushed out of bounds at midfield. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good looking ball carrier. Just nowhere for the ball carrier to go as the linebacker met him in the backfield. Boy, what great play recognition by this linebacker. He saw the run was coming, and he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle. From their own 46-yard line, second down. Ready! Slings it, and down he goes at about the 47-yard line. Stop short. Espinoza can pin him deep in their own territory with a good punt here. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He fights forward to about the 29. Perry gains around three yards on the option play. to a guy. 
guy who was well covered and it almost got intercepted. Yeah, he's very lucky. That ball was only tipped. Third down, seven yards to go. Ball on their own 29. And they push him out around the 34-yard line. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. Horton back deep to return. Yeah, nothing too impressive on that return. I'm curious to see if this offense can move the ball. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Fuller goes with a play fake. Fires incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 31 yard line. And he's tackled around the 39 yard line. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. Second and ten. Ball on their own 46. Ready! Ready! Gets it. He's in space. And he's taken down at the 41 yard line. Boy, when you can rely on your tight end to move the chains, you got a big time advantage over any defense. Yard line. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs, just pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. It's first and ten. Ball on the 26. And he threw an accurate ball for a solid pickup. Give him the ball and let him find his way into the end zone. And he adds the extra point. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. A real battle going down in Boise. A tight game. Two relentless fighters exchanging blows. The Broncos have the edge 21 14. Well, you can never look ahead a week, but that would be a pretty big upset if that score holds. Curry is lined up to kick this one off. Nicholas from the five. He's tackled at the 33-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. North Carolina is up seven. Drill at the 34. Clayton only gets about a yard there on the draw. 
from their own 34-yard line. It's second down. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Tackle made right around the 40. Good for a gain of six yards. That makes it third and three. He's at midfield. Gets out to around the 45. Going deep. Lays it out there. Cut down at the eight. And that's the way you're supposed to play pitch and catch. Absolutely. You know, this wide receiver is a difference maker. He's one of those players that has a chance to go the distance every time you get him the ball. They bring him down in the backfield. From the 12-yard line, second down. He fights forward to about the 10. the five-yard line. This isn't much more than an extra point. North Carolina is hoping to make this a two-score game. He gets it up, and he's got it. And that'll do it. We head to the break. Still plenty of time left in this one. 17-7, North Carolina. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. So far, so good for both offenses in terms of taking care of the football, but now the defenses are ramping up the sense of urgency in terms of trying to get the ball back to their offense. Uh, absolutely, and you got to find Reese. These ball hawks on defense, they need to find the football. They need to make some big plays, create some turnovers. How about using that hit stick a little bit? How about knocking somebody silly and making them drop the football? I mean, defense's number one priority is trying to turn the football over, trying to make a big explosive play for your offense so, so they can do more damage and they can take the ball down the field. So those ball hawks need to show themselves in the second half. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Reed takes it from the six. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Open field tackle. And that one's incomplete. Third and five. Ball on their own 34. Here we go. Three. And they got him. 
this quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. So no luck on that drive as they go three and out. Hearn is the deep man awaiting the return. And he muffed it. He's knocked out of bounds at the 44-yard line. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Gets out to around the 28. Man left, man left. He's taken down around the 15-yard line. Horton on the tackle at the 15-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Check back 11. Check back 11. The five. Makes it to the five. Goes to the tailback, incomplete. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. not going to keep the drive going. Good, solid defense there to force them into a fourth down situation. Kicks up, and it's good. and ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the six. Tackle made at the 19. They couldn't get anything going on that last drive. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. On the throw, incomplete pass. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 19. Tackle at about the 27 yard line. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. And they make 
make the stop at around the 44-yard line. Espinoza is the punter. Turn. Fields it at the 24. Just about ready to call the first play of this drive. They were able to pick up a field goal on their last possession. Get to that quickly. And he tackles him hard at the 30-yard line. first and down he goes at the 49 yard line throws complete he's hit right away that makes it seven and six They need to get it inside the 41. Their last drive ended in a punch, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. And he's tackled the 34-yard line. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. Mike nine. Mike nine. And he's tackled after positive yardage. And that'll bring this third quarter to a close. North Carolina's got a 13-point lead. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. We're still early in the fourth quarter, but that was a huge stop. And now with the lead, they're going to get the football back and an opportunity to stretch the lead. Espinoza is waiting for the snap. And he didn't get anything on that return. Well, the coverage team did an outstanding job at containing here. You always see this with this team. They're very disciplined on special teams. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He might have a chance. He's to the 40. Yards. 
He has some room. Makes it out to about the 39. Gain of 18 yards. First down. He's at the 30. Gets out to around the 25. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want to know. They don't want none of this. That makes it first and 10. I got water. I got water. I got water. Hey, check. Check back. Come back. Check back. Come back. Check back. Check back. Check back. With a quick throw. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten to go. Ball on the twenty-five. Throws completely stopped immediately. Did you see how he looks that ball into his hands? That's how you catch a football. Looking for six. They'll line it up for the field goal. Kicks away, and he got it. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese, the Cornhuskers were ranked 18th. They hope this victory will push them even higher. And for Nebraska, they've now won three in a row. The Cornhuskers win it by three. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. North Carolina is lining up to kick this one off. He's to the 20. And he just got stood up right there. North Carolina's defense has been a force to be reckoned with, especially in this game. Well, they have stepped up today. They just seem to be dialed into what this offense is trying to do. Good job against the run. They've been very physical. What I love is how relentless they run to the football. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And he's level at the 35-yard line. Pushed out of bounds around the 48 yard line. He airs it out. From their own 48 yard line, it's second down. the 47 yard line just under three to go in regulation and he throws it away great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback and right now I think they've got him with some happy feet he appears to be a bit rattled so they're gonna go for it here Six-yard line. Here we go. Wide 80. Wide right. He wants it all going long. Can't connect. You don't think these guys get aggressive when it counts? Terrific hit to prevent the score. It's second and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. This is the ninth play of the current drive. Four down, four down. Mike nine. Mike nine. 
Going long. Brought down around the one yard line. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Here's the 11th play of the drive. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Nice run up the middle. That makes a starting goal. Quick throw in the end zone, touchdown. Each of these guys credit for getting in sync, really fighting to create that touchdown. They'll go for two in this situation. Defense and their short yardage package. Taken down in the backfield. It was a 12th play, 78-yard drive, but they just get six points after failing to convert for two. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. And he's tackled at the 38-yard line. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Gives it off. And he is drilled at the 35. Nicholas gets three yards on the carry. And the ball carrier wasn't getting away from that tackle. From the 35-yard line. Second down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Syracuse will take their second time out of the half. They come out in a five-wide set. He's tackled right around the 24-yard line. That's a key play to find the open man and keep the drive alive. Syracuse called their final timeout from the 24-yard line. First down, less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Tackle made at the 16. He fights forward to about the 13. Gaining three yards. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 13. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. And so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, 23-13, Tar Heel. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.